Hey guys, Bone General here, back with another video, and today I have a new CRT. I know, I needed a new one. But this is a SRS 3000 series by, I don't know, um, here I'm gonna check on the back right now, actually. Ugh, so many cables and shit around here right now. I'm trying to untangle some of them. Oh, it's a Sears, okay. Sears. I thought it looked like a Sears because of the color. But anyway, it is from 1987. July of 87, or it might have been August. <clears throat> Got a lot of stuff around here. But it is a 9-inch CRT TV. And I picked it up because not only is it in great condition, I mean, you can kind of tell really nice but it is fancy for a nine inch TV not only does it have the standard cable and UHF VHF lines in the back but as you can see on the side it has composite not only does it have the composite but this is a 1987 portable set with digital tuning at this must have cost a little bit. I'm not going to say it cost a ton. Just because it is still, you know, a 9 inch TV. I would expect it to cost a lot more if it was, say, a 13 inch. Or a uh, 20 inch. But, you look on top here. It's got all your controls. You got normal or green screen, which I'm not sure what that's for. You got uh, auto color off or auto. I have it off. Contrast, brightness, tint, color. Uh, you have your channel fine tuning there. Uh, I'll do a video of this in better lighting as well, but this is a video more showing off the CRT itself. Um, so I'll turn the TV on here and switch it into TV mode. There we go. You can see, it looks pretty good. Uh, colors, I would say, still need a little bit of calibrating. The tube's in pretty good shape. Maybe a little, little bit fuzzy, but I can fine tune that. But anyway, as you can see, it has the, uh, what, neon bulbs in here. Uh, I know Rocky has a Trinitron that has a similar thing to this, except mine's red, so. But, this is the fun part. I have my PlayStation 3 hooked up to it because it has the composite out. And what what do I have to test the quality of a, you know, of a TV set? I have a gaming console. Because that's professional. And Okay, I'm gonna need new composites soon because these ones are starting to get ripped up and stuff from all this junk. Get out of here. As you can see, the composite works. I don't know what this green thing does. Oh, turns composite green. I don't know what the point of that is, but hey. It has it. Want some green? Yeah, this is a pretty cool little TV. Sound is, is well as loud, but it's not really high quality loud. I mean, this is as loud as it gets. Um, actually, I don't know if there's uh, suggestive images there, so won't even bother pulling it up. Need to do a little more color calibrating on it, which is not too bad. Like the colors are better than they were when I bought it. But I need to pull up a full like NTSC color calibration screen for it. I mean I did, but I didn't have a reference point, so 
I don't know how good it is. I'll bring out a monitor or something to compare it to at some point. I need to clean that lens. Now it's just over bright on the screen. I'll turn the brightness down a bit. Uh, what is, which one is it? Uh, this one. That way you guys have an easier time seeing it. I'll turn the... Okay, that's like barely. Okay. Yeah, that's about as bright as it gets. I can keep it about right there. But let's do uh, let's put a 4K video on screen just to just for the hell of it. I always do that just to see. It does have a bit of uh, smearing, so that leads me to wonder the question, like the uh, condition of this tube. But I mean, it's good enough to where it's it's bright and sharp enough for me to read everything on a nine-inch screen. So I gotta say, it's at least good enough, you know. volume down yeah that looks pretty good it's a 1978 or 1978 1987 I wish it was a 78 but it's a 87 Sears AC DC color TV oh heck yeah it's an AC DC TV Um, is what's one thing that's funny you can still do channel selecting while you're in monitor mode it just doesn't do anything but yeah that is my new 1987 Sears 9 inch portable color TV and by the way the tube is not I don't actually is it totally flat I need to check this myself Okay, the tube is not totally flat, but the curve on it is almost unnoticeable. You guys might be able to notice it on camera, but it's hard to tell. So this is, I guess, an 87 flat screen, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, and I hope you enjoyed this one.